I know it's probably not the most exciting video we've had so far, but it was necessary because these are the steps I want to take to be able to do the kind of stuff we're going to do that is really cool. Well, howdy, everybody. Glad to have you back with us. I am just finishing something up, and I will be right with you. And actually, I'll walk you through what we have going on here. Um, so I had a little problem when I was finishing up the inside of the garage slash base area in the fact that, well, honestly, wasn't even a problem. I want to be able to take the materials that we get and bring them back to the base, but I want them refined in a separate area. I think I described that in the last video. Um, because of that, I need something for a cargo plane to land on. And to do that, I need a lot of materials transported to a runway to be able to build a runway and I thought about all this while I was finishing up the inside of the base and found out that I have nothing that holds a lot of cargo like nothing I have this it doesn't even have a cargo container <laughs> I have the buggy but I really don't want to drive around the hill, up the other side, and up to the top of this ridge with only two medium cargos, because I accidentally broke one. So, I figured, why not make something that can haul it? And while that's being finished, actually, I will give you a tour of the place. So we now have no production survival kit anything outside of this area kind of nice I'm debating I'm probably gonna put a small cargo right here just to have quick access because running all the way to the back still sucks I have a little catwalk here that is going to be the future helipad for that thing um, it looks small but I promise the wheels down there if you look are three wide and they go like two or three blocks back behind the connector. So we should be fine on space and we'll extend it out later to fit more or less, whatever. Hell, this might even be moved. Not sure yet, but we have that. Then you see we have a pipe now coming from our temporary pipeline which is why that helipad is probably going to end up getting moved eventually. Um, it gets piped through here, as well as some wiring and cabling for lights. At night, it looks really good. I got a 30 degree light up there, kind of light up the entryway. And then the lights wrap all the way around. You see our pipe comes around. And then we have 
our refining room. Which is really nice. Still not finished because we need some graveling on the walls, some paint, all that fun stuff. Which you guys can give me ideas if you would like down in the comments. Always appreciate it because I'm terrible with that. My brain doesn't work like that. Then we have the cargo room. Which is literally just four large cargos. And some piping to bring them all together. Which I think looks pretty cool. Kind of a uh, industrial feel with them. And then that comes out this way. And that's where our power for our electricity comes from. We got Izzy's and our... Well, little bit of technical stuff going on in this corner we got izzy's on the lcds we got our power generation so we can see what we have and what we need do not follow that line because i have two batteries on the helicopter that i just made that are still connected to the base technically then we have regular small cargo just for tools and bottles that i don't have um bob got moved and then our survival kit I might as well fill up. But, I have not done the floor yet either, because I don't know exactly what I want to do in here. So, there's that. What I also want to do is show you what I've been working on. You know, minus the helicopter part. So I've been trying to figure out where and how to put a um, landing pad or a runway something along those lines for and I apologize for the sound something along those lines for bringing cargo back all of our refined materials that we're going to have at the refining, refining facility but I also need materials to build this this is the start of the runway. This is going to be a big project, and it's going to be a lot of steel plates. Fuel critical. What I'm going to do is make this runway reach all the way over there. And I'll show you. But I need a battery, projector, blah, 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 all that fun stuff. Because what I'm going to do... I finally figured it out. It took me way longer than I care to admit to figure this out. I built this front section, right? And I knew I wanted supports every so often. And I want it to be really long. Well, why not just keep doing what we've been doing down there? Project it onto this piece. And have Bob weld it. I mean... It's not going to be too difficult. Best part is I don't need Bob to technically weld it. I can do it myself with that ship that we have being welded down there. But the runway is going to reach at least to this spot here. Where you can see this green below me coming up and down that way. It's going to reach that part of the crust. So, it's going to be a pretty decent sized runway. I think so, anyway. It's also going to cut into the hill a little bit. Which is kind of what I want. So we can... So we can have a flat area to work with as far as the actual cargo facility. And that's kind of what I want. So, what I'm going to need to do, though, is finish this helicopter. And it's going to be loud as well. So, <laughs> hopefully it's balanced. But we're still going to have to test fly. So, let's see how far we've gotten on it. And we're also going to need a paint job for it. And that reminds Fuel me, I still have to critical. repaint the back of this. Now, get to it. 
Okay. So it's actually looks about done. Um, let's put that on recharge. Let's put you on recharge. Just to charge you up. Because the connector, hopefully, is going to go right in the middle. And yeah, it's only two blocks behind. There's the wheel. So, should be okay. Hopefully. That's the plan, anyway. <laughs> well, we'll let that charge up for a second. I will give you a good one over of it because I still need to make sure I have everything. We got the rover cockpit. This is one from Spacebar, I believe. Yes, it is one of his. It is his exploration rover cockpit. So, pretty nice. I like it. And then we have the three light bar up top to kind of help us see. I do still have to add some lights probably under here somewhere just so we can see where we're landing and all that kind of stuff. Then I'm probably going to put spotlights either on the side or somewhere. Possibly. We got our two batteries. That should be more than plenty. I don't think we're going to need more than that. I have one gyro here, one gyro there, and then those mirror on the other side to help balance out. So we have four gyros in general. We got three large cargos, and those are being lifted up by three of the bigger propellers, which I don't have on me. They're the eight-wing propellers. And also they're being lifted by six of these large uh, Atmo the flat bow thrusters and I also have one two three four five six seven of the small ones pushing us forward and I have four helping slow us down now I know I said I would try to stay away from building like a six direction uh, flyer because it's kind of cheating and I want to stick with actual aerodynamics but for something that carries this much cargo that it's going to have, I want to have as much control as possible. And I'm still not sure if this is even going to be enough. So, we'll see. Okay. So, first thing first. Everything on that is off. We need to cut it away. And now, let's hop in. All right, let's see what happens. All right, good so far. Now let's turn just thrust on. I am definitely going to need some lights on this. Because I cannot see. <laughs> and now I am going to need... I'm going to need to get under it, so we are going to have to turn it on. But at least now I can somewhat see. All right, props on. Stable. That's what I'm looking for. just like that so that way we can see where our wheels are go 
those up nice and fast. And then speed, of course, will be slowed down dramatically as we get more weight, but we can also help with the props. And hopefully, this thing acting somewhat like a drone will be able to carry quite a bit. Because my next plan of action is to have two more propellers on the sides. So it'll have five altogether. Alright. Let's go ahead and come on down to our landing pad. Ooh -hoo. It drops like a rock. Okay. So let's go ahead and get a connector. Yeah. Pretty balanced. I like it. And then let's go ahead and get our connector on here. Switch lock. And do that. I like it. Now what we can do is go into inventory, go into our carrier container here. This one can be CC. We can do that. Um, oh, hold on. Uh, we have to have hidden and special in these. That way Izzy does not take them out. Uh, so it's locked, not special. Oops. Okay. I will change that though. Control C that. Put it there. Put it there. Now we should be able to go to mid and pick that up. I am definitely not out of iron. Why is the survival kit doing those? Oh, those are off. What about the refineries? Are those off? There they are. No, those are all on. Okay. So can we lift with what we have? Yes, we can. It's a little on the slow side, but... We can still make it. Okay. So now, what we want to do... Do I still have that Fuel stuff critical. on... No. We got the cargo, that, that. Now we need Bob. I could put a Bob on the helicopter, to be fair. But I think the small one isn't very... 
uh, useful, for lack of a better term. Yeah, we'll just do that. And then let's put one of you. Actually, can I put two? Do I have the parts for it? Because that would be great. We're going to do carrier by front. this one and then make it awesome and I will need color ideas for this because the black is nice um, but I'm not sure about it now if we do carrier front Actually, those can stay down there. Or if we do the front and go down to meow, fourteen motors and two what? Okay. Well, evidently, I just got everything for that stuff. So let's disconnect. I am still able to fly. It's a little more surprising than I thought. Now slowing down will be the next question. Uh, I need Bob's on my hopper. There we go. This uh, did not give me the computers. That's kind of stupid. Okay. Um, computers there. Okay. So give me that. Give me that. Give me that. And then I will need more steel plate and the stuff for a large cargo, which give me that really quick. Um, put that down there. Cool, 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 cool. I need that. Not as much as I got. Love it. Love it. Give me that. And... Right, left, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we'll just do that. Awesome. Looks like I'm still gonna need those parts, so... 
Let's go ahead and get some more. And flying should actually be a lot easier now that I'm a little lighter. Can I not lift now? Uh-oh. Um, let's bring your strength down. There we go. I don't know what was going on there. Not entirely sure. And I just realized that those are upside down. So. You guys have probably been yelling at me this whole time about it. And I never even noticed. So let me get those flipped around. <laughs> Fuel critical. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, that should be better. So, let's get unlocked. Oh yeah, we're still good. We got plenty of weight to play with. Oh, might even have too much. Ooh, forward thrust is a thing that we're going to need, though, eventually. Uh, maybe not with the props. There we go. Yeah, 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 fuel's critical. It's always critical. There we go. Get this stuff taken out, put in. Good news. We have a projector. Is this up and going? It is. Cool. Next thing I need, though, is uh, some steel plate. Give me that. Uh, what was that ignore color again? I always forget. Three, two, one, one hundred fifty one. Uh, this one. There we go. Go ahead and well, it obviously is not the ignore color. Three, two, one, one hundred fifty one. Oh, that would be why. Okay. Anyway, uh, you all can take that away now. Oops, wrong button. And now, what we can do is take this, put it up there.
And then I'm going to set the projector up. That Humboldt, I hope, is not coming this way. Hope not. Why is it that when I'm up here, I'm always in the fog? It's kind of annoying. Uh, but what we're going to do is put it on fly mode well before grind all the fun stuff. And, I mean, it's only going to have armor blocks to weld, to be fair, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, show area. And I want my F8. Set this for something like that. Beautiful. Show area off. And now we can go to projector. Oh, we have to turn that off too. Same thing with mine. Uh, projector, blueprints, most recent, runway. Kind of like that, and then one down. Just like that. And now we can turn that on and turn that on. Now what I will do really quick, just so we do have some uh, power getting put to this and not only being used, is line the side of it with solar panels. Maybe. Would solar panels work better than wind turbines in this situation? I think they would. It's just me, but... I have a feeling probably would. Um, I guess not really, considering they're not getting the most efficient power. It would be consistent, though. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. Now I need to find a way up. <laughs> uh, let's transfer everything from the heli into this connector. Bob can continue to work on that. And let's go get our parts. Little carrier heli comes in handy. Might need some sideways help, but... Not bad. Alright, so if I type in carrier, we want our mid. Here we have components, 
32 solar cells. Ooh. Do I not have solar cells being made? Am I out of... Am I out of iron? Point oh three. I am. Okay. Good to know. I need to go get more. And now that I have a carrier heli, this is going to be a hell of a lot faster. Alright. I'm going to go get more. I will be right back. So good news, the helicopter can fly fully loaded. Forward momentum takes a little bit of a hit, of course. So does stopping power in any direction. <laughs> Except, oh, I still have quite a bit of vertical I can do. Which is actually pretty nice. I'm having to use a lot more of the tilt just to come to a stop. There we go. Now we should have... Carrier is there. Let's do our CC. Components, components, or ingots. And there's our iron. Almost 100,000. The refinery should make quick work of that, though. And production should continue to ramp up. Yep. What am I missing? Copper. Copper is what I'm missing now. Looks like I'm actually starting to run out of materials. <laughs> so, we're going to have to get that refining station up and going. Okay. Well, let me get a bunch of copper. And then we should be fine. Or I could just... Ooh, actually, you know what? I'm going to need to get a little bit of copper, but we could just dig out our second floor here for our Bob, or Billy, whatever his name is. Um, uh, what is it called? Drill and fill? Yeah, drill system. Um, let's go ahead and get the same paint your buddy has. And we will just put you into the wall. How about that? Kind of like that. Oh, no, we have everything. Just need those large steel tubes. Uh, give me a hundred of those. I know you can make them. There we go. So now we need to sit in our chair. And let's Fuel lay this critical. out really quick. Because we're going to need a door. 
I'm gonna need a fancy door too, not just some kind of weird door. Um, can I get? side of you anywhere no okay whatever uh we need where am i at here we need to be able to see where this is gonna go because i'm gonna put stairs going up here or maybe an elevator elevator could be fun yeah okay I got an idea. So let's go ahead and dig that real quick. And block it. Kind of like that. And then what I can do is put one of those there. Another one there. Now we should have our door. Full sliding. Kind of just like that. Now what we need to do is line up that piece um, just with those three blocks is kind of what I want to do, which they are not too far off to be fair. <laughs> um, let's bring it in just a little bit. I like it. Cool. Now our stone collector, ejector, sorter, this one is off. Okay. Now let's go ahead and turn our drill system on. That shouldn't take very long, but it will get us some comp to be able to finish those uh, solar panels off. Alright. Well, we got that part done. That was quick. Just a few minutes. Uh, let's do that real quick. Now, we need to adjust this so we can set up an elevator. But we're going to need to dig a shaft. And I'm not quite sure. Uh, sorry. Not quite sure what size um, elevator we're going to need. So let's go ahead and build one. Just out of, you know, spare parts, really. But you get the idea. Let's turn that area off for a minute. And. I'm gonna lay something out. Fuel critical. Uh, soda's not sticking with me for some reason. And I will be back with you shortly. I'm gonna get this area put in first. Alright. I just have a one. Uh, just a one piston elevator is all we're gonna be doing. That's all we're realistically going to need, so I'm not going to make it too fancy, because we don't need much more than that. There we go. Just something like that. It'll be fine. And then I can have a button, like right here, or up above, to do the same thing. And then... What we can do is something along the lines of that. 
on each side. And this will help um, Darn it. Stop it. What this is going to do is allow me to align the floor above. So we'll be able to actually have the floor be the same. Because um, I am still going to keep the rock ceiling for Fuel this critical. bottom floor. And I want to be able to continue that up this way. It'll be like that. And I am going to need to build my way up. Kind of like that. Um, we'll have to see how tall that piston actually goes. So we might get that welded up at least. Just to see. Bob should weld that here in a minute. Yep, there it goes. Go all the way up, please. That's actually pretty easy. Now let's make sure that's in the voxels. Cool. Now let's cut her loose, blueprint, and put her in. Because that's going to be our one simple elevator. Uh, control B, rename. elevator and we'll go put it in the projector fuel critical we will have to turn all bobs off so that's definitely a thing but that shouldn't be too hard and since I can control everything from my seat should also not be too hard kind of like that Alright. Cool. Now we can turn Bob's back on. I don't think they're going to change that color, but we will change that when we get it placed. Because I can weld those by hand. Or start them by hand, anyway. Drill system. Alright. And while that digs out our hole, which should be breaking through relatively soon. Let's just make sure. I want to see if it does. I don't know if it's going to leave like that thin layer or not, which would be kind of annoying, to be honest. Um, now let's head over to our runway. Make sure we got a bunch of stuff on here first. Kind of like that. Alright, let's go see if that's enough. Because we're going to need a lot of runway to be able to build this, so... The thing about this runway is, yes, it's going to be very long and it's going to be tedious, but if you've ever played with the aerodynamics mod itself, it's very 
landing with airplanes can be very taxing especially when all you have is landing wheels and no real reverse thrust I know you've probably seen like Kanajashi's stuff and uh, Splitsy stuff um, Kanajashi probably had the better of the cargo planes um, whereas Splitsy kind of showed you how hard it was to actually land a plane in a short distance so take the concept of that heavy plane and then multiply it by Splitsy's problem of landing short. <laughs> What am I still missing here? Girders. Okay. I still need a bunch of stuff though. There. Jesus. Of course it's nighttime when I get over here and finish them, but yeah. It is what it is, I guess. Fuel critical. And how is our runway coming along? Can we move forward a little bit? Yes, we can. But I want to do this first. Uh, me, I do have some steel, but give me a little more. Because it's going to bother me if I don't, and I'm going to forget, and we're all going to be in a world of hurt. Actually, just copy that. Uh, actually, this one is down all the way already. This one needs to come down. Um, I think you're already like that. Cool. Uh, so now we can turn the bobs off and move our thing again. And actually, let's go sit in a seat so we can see this properly. That's almost done. That's good. How's that look? Not bad. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and um, it'd be nice if I can have this runway section here and just put it again. Eh, we'll double up every other one. That's fine. Projector 2... Pitch 180, just like that. Yeah, that'll be fine. Awesome. And then build and repair your area should encompass that uh there it is yes but let's go ahead and send you down the way anyway on on then let's make sure everything out of the carrier is into this one. There we go. Awesome.
So now Bob should be able to weld most of that. Fuel critical. Um, I do want to see something though. How much power does this thing have left? Fully depleted in one year. Yeah, it's got plenty of power. <laughs> I thought Bob took more than that, so we'll be fine. Ah, don't box me in, Bob. Eh. There we go. When we get a little farther down, it'll be better, but... God damn it. I walked right into that one. No. Just for that, I'm stealing your plates. Okay, you got all this stuff. Somewhere. Alright, well... Now it's just going to be a matter of going back and forth, back and forth with steel plates, moving this thing forward, and all that kind of junk. And I'm waiting for the elevator pit to be done being made. Or, well, at least being finished. Um, let's go up there and do that really quick, actually. Not finish the elevator itself, but... Well, yeah, maybe we'll finish the elevator. And then... We will see where we're at from there. Fuel right. critical. Let's see where our elevator pit's at. And yes, I say pit, because that's kind of just what it is. Okay. We are going to have to move it. Um. And I will have to dig that out. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, that's not a problem, though. I was going to say, maybe it is. <laughs> yeah, we'll fix it. Anyway, let's get that next part taken care of. So that... Um, piston can be free of its torment. Cool. So we have a nice sized tunnel. We should be good to go. Because now we can. Uh, I want this one. We can make our elevator. And it's just going to be something simple like we did before. Just a three by three, like that. I like it. Now, as you can see, oh God, I got plenty of space to work with here. So now that I'm this far back, I can lay out this living quarters section as much as I want because I'm above the cargo and I'm also back far enough to where I'm not too worried about height restrictions. So I can make my rooms a little bigger, a little smaller, however I want. 
and maybe we'll start that in the next episode. Now, this runway project is going to be very long, and since you guys have seen how exactly I've been doing it, I'm not going to bore you every episode with me making progress on it. What I'll do is I'll probably do a bunch of it, oh god, off of, off screen, and just let you guys see progress and how it's coming along. Um, that way we can get to doing other things. Because I want to also get a boat going that will allow us to go to other locations. Um, mainly the ship launching area that we still have to find. I think I saw a pretty decent spot when I was flying around for the refining location. Um, I believe it's in that direction somewhere. I could be a little off, but that's where I remember it. So we will see. Fuel critical. It's basically a little island um, on the other side of. Actually, I think it's. It might be towards the refining facility. It's either in that direction or over there. But this sandbar that runs in between, there's one similar on this side. Um, we would have to dig basically a little canal or a strait to go through it. And I think that'd be a cool project to build kind of like a Panama Canal almost. <laughs> We've gotten quite a bit done today, a lot more than I actually thought we would. I know it's probably not the most exciting video we've had so far, but it's, it was necessary because these are the steps I want to take to be able to do the kind of stuff we're going to do that is really cool um, as far as using all the different types of vehicles that are not uh, six directional. So, yeah, we're going to... This is the kind of stuff we need to do to do that. So, next time, I will give you a progress update on the runway. I'll keep working on this in between videos. Um, should be able to get it done relatively soon with how much stone and iron we're bringing in. And then we will also do some work on the base. I may pretty it up on the outside just to, uh, well, pretty it up. Um, I'm debating whether or not we want to make an actual powerhouse or just a power facility. Um, it will be nice. That way we won't have to have this really long snake of a thing going down the hill. But... It's also going to take some grebling and placement of stuff, and I still have to worry about the water. So, that's the main reason why I've kind of been holding off on it. <laughs> but, we'll do that and more in the next video. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll catch you in the next one. Have a good day, everybody. It's a grower, not a shower, okay? Hallway's gonna get bigger. <laughs>